Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making a Discord bot. This is going to be a, a big line of videos coming up here soon. I'm going to try to do one every couple days uh, on the next part. So today we'll just be focusing on installing it, what you need to actually code it with, and set up one basic command just to show that it's working. Um, and then next episode we'll get more into a few other things with commands most likely. Uh, so first off, you're going to want to go download Python. So if you just go to, I'll leave all these links in the description by the way. So if you just go to python.org slash downloads, and then you can just download the latest version here. If you just click on this, it'll start downloading. Uh, and then you're also going to want, I recommend Visual Studio Code. Uh, there's plenty of other things you can use. I will leave other links in the description for uh, code editors that most people will use. Uh, you can also use Visual Studio if you have the licenses for it. I'm not completely sure how that works. I know it's not completely free, but if you have like the Office or whatever it is that does that, you can use that just as fine. Uh, but you'll just want to download the stable build here. And then if you go to here, it'll just start downloading. And then once Python is installed here, or downloaded, we're going to install it. So just give that a second to load up. And you don't have to use the most recent version of Python. There are other builds of Python. I just prefer the most recent, so that's completely up to you guys. So I already have this installed. But what you're going to do is... Um, install launcher for all users and then you can you can custom install it or whatever if you want to know how to do that um, but what you're going to want to do is just press install now and that'll go ahead and take you through the steps of installing python uh, once that is done you're going to want to go ahead and open your visual studio code here so i've already got it running but this is just you know any basic program that you would install runs just the same like that so go through the installation process of that uh, once that is done installing you can open it up here and I created a folder on my desktop called discord.py tutorial uh, this is for rewrite so don't let this folder fool you I didn't I just didn't want to name it super long and then what you're gonna want to do is create your first file so this can be whatever you want. So if you want it to be something else, if you want it to be uh, like tim.py, that's completely fine. The, the name of the file does not matter. If you want to be like all the other tutorials on making bots, you can name it bot.py if that helps you any. Um, I'm just going to name mine main.py because this is our main file here. Uh, what you're going to do next is go, this is how I do it at least, uh, you're going to want to go to view and then go to terminal. Once the terminal is up, you're going to want to install discord.py rewrite, not the normal py. Uh, rewrite is the more up-to-date version that are still coming out with updates and all that. It's honestly just the better of the two. You can still use async with it. It works completely fine with that. Um, so if you go down here to installation or installing, this is how it's supposed to work, but they recommend in the Discord. That's the wrong thing. Ignore that. Uh, if we go here and then we go down to discord.py server. So I will also leave this in the description. Uh, this is the official server for the regular py version and the rewrite. Um, but what you're going to want to do is, if it will not crash here, you're going to want to run this command in that terminal. So if we go back to our terminal here, and we paste this in, and press enter, this is going to just start downloading all of it. 
So I will be back with you guys as soon as this is done downloading. Okay guys, so as soon as this all is done installing on your guys' end, um, we can go ahead and get started on some really basic things. We're just going to get bot turned on and running. So what you want to do is go back to your browser and go to discord.com slash developers. Now it's going to prompt you to log in if you're not already. Um, you will not see like a bunch of these applications. You will see zero if you've never done a bot before. What you're going to do is press new application, whatever you want your bot to be called. So I'm going to name mine Python Bot Tutorial. And then this is just a personal bot. It's not part of any teams. So then what you're going to want to do, you can upload an image if you want to for the profile picture of it. I'm just going to leave it blank for now. Uh, go to bot and then add a bot. So this is your actual bot. Um, what you're going to want to do now is click to reveal this token. So this will come up with a, a big string of numbers and letters. Um, mine is blurred out because you don't want to give this away to anybody. If someone else gets this, they can access your bot. So they can put their own code going through your bot. And you don't want that generally, so try to never give that away to anybody. And if you do leak it on accident, you can always just press this regenerate button right here. So once you have that, go back to your Visual Studio code. We're going to import Discord. And then from discord.ext import commands. So this imports the things necessary for actually running commands. And then we're going to also import async you real quick just to have it in there if I can spell it right. So what you're going to want to do now is do at, well sorry not yet. Uh, what you want to do is you can either name this bot or some people like naming it client. Um, I don't like typing a lot so I'm just going to name it bot. If I don't have to type a bunch I'm not going to. And then bot equals commands dot bot and then command prefix equals. So this is what the prefix of your bot is going to be. Um, later on in a future video we'll go over how to have it like where you can set what your prefix is but for now we're just going to have it a set prefix so we'll just do let's just do exclamation point and then what you this is not necessary but to make sure your commands will always work no matter caps locks or not do in case insensitive equals true so now if you do say you do help that's the normal command but it will also work if you do with a bunch of caps locks in it it just makes sure the command will always run so that's not necessary but if you want it you can add it and then what you're going to do now is at bot dot event async def on ready. So what this is saying is when the bot turns on, meaning it's ready, run this code. So what we're going to do now is print I am online. And that will print it to the console once we turn it on. And then um, this is also not necessary. And we'll also be going over something else for this later on. Uh, but if you do return await bot dot change presence activity equals discord dot activity and then there are a bunch of different types of activities you can do uh, just because this is the one that I normally do I'm going to do uh, type one name equals tutorial and then 
you want to do get out of that you want to do URL equals and then this can be this is needs to be it for type 1 a twitch link so it can be your twitch link to your account like to view you streaming or it can just be a general twitch um, account so we can just be the twitch account and then this will display your bot as streaming it of course is not actually streaming but like I said if you set this up to say your account for you like the link to your channel whenever you go live the bot will say that it is streaming your stream so it'll kind of advertise your stream I guess but uh, there are a bunch of other types you can look at the docs to find the other types that you can use um, what you want to do now is we're going to make a basic little command here. So at bot.command pass context equals true. Now, you don't have to type that, but I started out with discord.py. So if you're also like me, you don't need this. Back in regular discord.py, you did need this, but now it does it by itself, so you don't need that. So if you go to async def, and then we're just going to call this ping, and then ctx. Now if we just do await ctx.send, so that sends it to the channel that the command was used in. So CTX is getting where the channel is that this was used in. So now if we go ahead, now we're going to want it to bot.run. And then you have to have that token from earlier. Paste that token from earlier in here. And then save your file. So this is going to be just a basic bot that will come online and have a ping command. So what you want to do now is go back to your developer page, go to OAuth2, go down here to bot, and then you can give it whatever permissions just because I'm going to give it admin, and then copy. So once you do that, you just use that link, that's just a bot invite link. So then you would just invite this bot to the server you wanted it. So we're going to go down here to the Discord here, prove you're not a robot, and then now the bot is in your server. So if we go to my server here, here is our bot. So now if we go right back here to the terminal and type python and then your main file name .py. So wait so it just printed I am online so that means the bot is now online it's streaming tutorial and see this is just the if you click on this it just takes you to the generic twitch stream page um, like I said so if you set that up to yours or somebody else's it would take you to their page and then if we do ping on huh. so that's this is the basic how to get the bot online and get it to respond to you with a command. Um, next episode we'll start going over some basic events and um, a few other more not basic commands so like a little more complex than just saying Pong. Um, so I will see you guys next time and keep an eye out for these videos they should be coming out every other day or so and uh, hope you guys enjoy